Now, we're adding mixed numbers, but this time, we're going to get our answer by first changing both of our mixed numbers to improper fractions. Remember, to change a mixed number to an improper fraction, we multiply the whole number by the denominator and then add the numerator. So, to change 2 and 3 quarters to an improper fraction, we do 2 times 4, which is 8, then we add 3, which gives us 11. So that's our numerator, and the denominator stays the same. We're adding 2 and 7 twelfths, but we can turn that to an improper fraction as well. 2 times 12 is 24, plus 7 is 31. So that's our numerator, and the denominator stays the same. So now we have improper fractions, but to add fractions, we need the denominators to be the same. So we need to find an equivalent fraction to 11 quarters, which has a denominator of 12. That's 33 twelfths, because remember, to find equivalent fractions, we use multiplication. 4 times 3 is 12, and what we do to the denominator, we do to the numerator as well, and 11 times 3 is 33. So now we can add the 31 twelfths, and remember, when we're adding fractions with the common denominator, the denominator stays the same in our answer, and 33 plus 31 is 64. So, as an improper fraction, our answer is 64 twelfths. But we can turn that back into a mixed number by dividing. 64 divided by 12 is 5 remainder 4, and the denominator stays the same, so our answer is 5 and 4 twelfths. We can check that because 5 times 12 is 60, plus 4 is 64. Now we have 2 and 9 tenths, plus 1 and a half. So first, 2 and 9 tenths as an improper fraction is 29 tenths. That's because 2 times 10 is 20, plus 9 is 29, and the denominator stays the same. Now, 1 and a half is 3 over 2, or 3 halves, as an improper fraction, because 1 times 2 is 2, plus 1 is 3. But, again, to add fractions, we need the denominators to be the same. Now, 10 is in the 2 times table, so we can find an equivalent fraction to 3 halves, which has a denominator of 10. So, we keep the 29 tenths the same, but instead of adding 3 halves, we can add 15 tenths. That's because 2 times 5 is 10, and what we do to the denominator, we do to the numerator as well, and 3 times 5 is 15. So now, we have a common denominator, so that stays the same in our answer, and 29 plus 15 is 44. So, as an improper fraction, our answer is 44 tenths. But, we can turn that back into a mixed number by dividing. 44 divided by 10 is 4 remainder 4, and the denominator stays the same. So, let's have a look at what we did here. For this first question, we had 2 and 3 quarters, and we were adding 2 and 7 twelfths. We changed 2 and 3 quarters into 11 quarters, and we changed 2 and 7 twelfths into 31 twelfths. But, to add fractions, we need the denominators to be the same, so we changed those 11 quarters into 33 twelfths, which meant that we had 64 twelfths altogether. But, to turn that back into a mixed number, we divided 64 by 12, and that's 5 remainder 4. So, as a mixed number, our answer is 5 and 4 twelfths. Then, we had 2 and 9 tenths, and we were adding 1 and a half. We changed 2 and 9 tenths, into 29 tenths, and we changed 1 and a half into 3 halves. But, 
To add fractions, we needed the denominators to be the same. So we changed those three halves into 15 tenths, which meant when we put them together, we had 44 tenths. But to change that back into a mixed number, we divided 44 by 10, and that gave us 4, remainder 4, so 4 and 4 tenths.